Sorry, I cut off the video again by accident. So I was just talking about fake cheese versus real cheese. So if you're interested in that, uh, fake cheese, fake cheese is cheese that has a vegetable oil that's substituted for butter fat. And then real cheese is cheese that's made from butter fat or milk. So this is real cheese, um, which is good. I don't know if I've ever had, I don't want to say fake cheese anymore, but, uh, Cheese with vegetable oil in it. I don't know if I've had that, so I can't comment on it right now, but it may be good. And yeah, um, really good. So I don't want to talk too much about this, but California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken. And I think that's it for food in my apartment right now. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to be wiser about my health. I um, have gained some weight. Recently, I'm not like super big, but I've got a bit of a belly on me um, And I got these love handles here, which I want to get rid of so if you're interested in um, Nutrition and health, um, you know, uh, definitely leave a comment and um, You know, um, let me know if you have any tips because I uh, I'm Definitely interested in having a healthier body um, I don't really exercise a lot. I walk I hike I do push-ups in my apartment like this here on my oven and my counter, I just do these push-ups. I do them like this here, or I'll use slower ones here and hold for a bit. I hold them to practice uh, core strength here. And uh, as you can see, I am out of shape because I am already getting red in the face. So, you know, you can do slower push-ups here. You can do tricep dips um, in your apartment if you have a counter here, which I also do sometimes. It is go down and up, you know, just give it a good workout in here. Um, I'll march in place, you know, in my apartment. I'll, when I usually, um, I have been doing this for YouTube videos, but usually when I'm in my apartment, I'll just walk around my apartment and I'll hold my laptop in my hand. Um, I'm left-handed, so I hold it in my left hand. Um, and that's good exercise too. This laptop, I don't know how much this weighs. Um, I guess I can weigh this now here. I'm guessing it's around three or four pounds. But um, that's a good exercise too. Um, you know, just a, I'm not a nutritionist or um, a personal trainer by any means. But um, this here, this scale is accurate. Now, and make sure if you have a scale, I don't know, can you see? Oh, not. Now you can see the scale. The scale, if you have an old scale like this, um, make sure it's set to the, to the real zero. Um, you can set it here in the back, I think, is how I did it before. Or maybe it's on the front. But make sure it's on the actual zero mark because I accidentally... Um, man, I wish I could... Oh, wait, maybe it's on the front here. Where the heck is that knob? I don't know where that knob is, but there's usually a knob or a dial that you can use. If it's a bit above zero, you can set the, the dial down to actual zero so you can know your actual weight. So I had it a bit above that before. Oh, here it is right here. This is on the back of the scale here on the bottom. So if you, I, you know, I actually weighed a bit less than I thought. I was up to what I thought was 171 before, but I, I think I was more around 170, maybe one even 169 because this wasn't actually at zero um, when I didn't have any weight on it. It was up to a pound or two above. So let's see how much this weighs. Should I weigh myself first, and then I'll see how much the lap the, the laptop weighs. So I am at. 150, I'll say 153, uh, and then this laptop added makes me 159. So this is actually around six pounds, I'll say five and a half. Um, so yeah, it's not heavy, but um, if you do want a mild exercise, just walk around your home and you can watch a video and carry your laptop around with you. Um, and you can put headphones in if you don't want to bother anybody. And, um, so yeah, that's a good exercise there. So I think I'm just going to rename this video 
um, to food and nutrition or something like that. I'll think about it and then I'll put it up, but I'm, oh shoot, I forgot. I have some more stuff in my pantry here. Um, I will start with the bad stuff and then I'll finish with the good stuff. So, well, I'll just, I'll do it this way. I'll, I'll uh, start with the tea here and then I'll go to the cereal. This is really good and I should drink this. Um, this is black tea. It's supposed to be very good for one's liver. So if you have drank too much alcohol, this as well as leafy greens are really good um, for your liver. Um, fish also is good and I don't eat fish, but maybe I will start doing that. Um, I think I'm fairly middling in terms of how much alcohol I've had. I had calculated that in the past and I think my average is about 10 and a half per week, 10.2, 10.5, something around there. Um, so yeah, this is the um, black tea from Wegmans. Um, I'm gonna put this on top of my fridge. I should drink this today. Um, that's supposed to be very good for one's liver. I think it has to do with the antioxidants. Gluten-free, lactose-free, and vegan also. So if you're vegan, that's good. Um, lactose-free, no milk. I, I like milk, but that's good, I suppose. Um, and then gluten-free also, which is, if you don't know what gluten is, it's, it's just a plant. Um, similar to, I think it's similar, um, I, I don't want to speak too much on gluten because I don't know that much about it, but yeah, it contains naturally protective antioxidants. So that oxidation reaction that happens, um, oxidation is lost, losing electrons, reduction is gained, gaining electrons, That that is an actual process in your body. So these free radicals that are in your body, they can actually cause a lot of harm to your organs. If you have these oxidants in you, it's this oxidation reaction. It's this loss of electrons. Um, so yeah, this black tea, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So that's really not that important to me, but um, the antioxidants is the main reason why I purchased this. Um, Net weight 3.75 ounces, 106 grams, and it comes 48 bags, so it's good for um, 48 divided by, it's almost seven weeks, almost seven weeks of tea if you want to drink a cup every day. Um, so yeah, I should drink some today, um, but I do uh, recommend this, the tea from Wegmans. And I'll show you my cereal, um, and I'll show you my my sin first. Um, so yeah, I, I have a Cap'n Crunch here. This is just the original type. Um, I really was trying my hardest not to buy this and I thought, well, maybe I can have this um, because it's my birthday coming up soon on the 25th. So I thought, eh, maybe I'll just have it on special occasions for my birthday. So yeah, I, I have a yeah, um, I don't really like crunch berries or fruit, fruity stuff, like fruit-flavored food or fruit-flavored candy. I'm more of a chocolate person. Um, peanut butter is good, too. I do, maybe I'll get the peanut butter crunch someday, maybe for, like, Christmas or something like that. Um, yeah, I've never been a big, fr I love fruit, I, but I need to get some fruit. I think I'm going to get some oranges for those Bronco trolleys, but um, this, I'm going to look at the nutrition here, because I think, I know it's high in sugar. Um, yeah, 31% of your sugar. So if you compare that to some of the other cereal I have here, um, this is Honey Bunches of Oats, which is supposedly healthy, which it is. This is 15%, so this is quite a lot more sugar than the Honey Bunches of Oats. Um, let's see if there's anything healthy about it so I can justify myself. Um, fat is low, 3%. Honey bunches of oats, 4%. Saturated fat, 4%. Honey bunches of oats, 0%. Trans fat, 0. Polyunsaturated fat, 0. Monounsaturated fat, 0. 0.5 grams. That's for the Cap'n Crunch. And then trans fat for honey bunches of oats, 0. Which is the same polyunsaturated fat. A bit higher in the honey bunch of oats, 0.5 grams. Monounsaturated fat, 
0 0.5 grams compared, I'm sorry, 1.5 grams for this, 0 0.5 grams for this. This actually has a tad bit more fat in it. Um, yeah, 4% of your total fat versus 3% of your total fat. But that's not very significant based on the sugar that's in this. It still has half the amount of sugar, less than half. Um, and then this is cholesterol 1%. Cholesterol, 0%. Sodium, 15%. So not super high in sodium, but middling. And then sodium, 8%. So lower in sodium for this. Total carb, 15%. Total carb, 12%. Fiber, 3%. Fiber, 9%. So this is better for fiber. Sugars, as I said, this is 31%, this is 15%. Protein, 7 grams of protein. And this is with skim milk. I'm using with skim milk for both of these. Um, and this doesn't have the with skim milk option. Shoot, this is only the cereal. So I was doing that incorrectly, so I'll have to do that again. So fat for this is 4%. Fat for this without... The milk, which is the only thing I can compare it to, that's 2%. Saturated fat, 3%. Saturated fat, 0%. Fat's about the same in both, so I don't want to do that again. Um, but cholesterol, 0%. 0%. Sodium, 12%. Sodium, 8%. Total carbs, 12%. Total carbs, 12%. Um, again, this is uh, still high in sugar. And I'll, it's, it's the same amount of sugar without the milk. The skim milk doesn't have very much sugar in it. 31 grams, or not the grams. 31% of your sugar intake. And that's including added sugar. So it said, I, I hate this, but it says total sugar is 16 grams. And then it says 16 grams again, including added sugars. So is that 31% for just the added sugars, or is that 31% for both the added sugars and the total sugars? They really need to be more specific about that. I guess, it, well, it does say 16 grams for both. Does that mean 16 grams plus zero equals 16 grams, which means no added sugars? Does that mean there's 16 grams of sugar here, which is 31%, and there's another 31% of your sugar here. I'm assuming they mean this, and I hope they're being honest about that, because that's how I would interpret it, um, as being total sugar 16 gram, including added sugar 16 grams. So maybe I'm just dumb, and that's what they actually mean. But that just kind of confused me for a second. And that always kind of has whenever I'm reading about sugar. So, because if, if they say included added sugars, well, okay, that's fine. I, I'm getting flustered over nothing. Anyway, so... This seems to be healthier overall so far, but really no difference in terms of fat. A little more fat here. Cholesterol, same. Sodium, a bit less here, 8% and 12%. Carb, 12% and 12%, so same. Protein, oh, fiber, sorry. Uh, fiber, 3% uh, and 9%, so this one is higher, as I stated. And then uh, sugars, 31%, sugar, 15%. Protein, 2 grams. Protein, 3 grams, so a little higher protein than this. Vitamin D, 8%. Vitamin D, 10%. So a bit more vitamin D, which is good for your bones. Uh, calcium, 15% in this. Um, and then 0% calcium for this. So this does have some calcium in it. Iron, 40% for Cap'n Crunch, and then 90% of your iron for Honey Bunches of Oats. So if you are anemic, get some Honey Bunches of Oats, and uh, this will be really good for you. Um, potassium, again, good for muscle uh, control and nerve function. Potassium is 0% in this, and then 2% for this. Thiamine, uh, 30%. I don't know what thiamine is. I guess I'll look that up also. Um, 